The Roman Empire spread far and wide, they encapsulated previous civilizations and brought technological advancements back to the world after the major collapse. The thousand years of ages before the Romans were unstable, unrelenting. This is a world re-emerging from catastrophic disaster. Wait till you hear this. A Roman arched aqueduct has been discovered in Armenia. Excavations were conducted by the University of Münster and the National Academy of Sciences of the Republic of Armenia, with the results published in the journal Archaeologischer Anzeiger. The discovery took place in the Hellenistic royal city of Artisha Artaxata. Artaxata was intended to become the capital of a new province of Armenia, in which Professor Akim Lichtenberger from the Institute of Classical Archaeology and Christian Archaeology at the University of Münster, he said, The aqueduct remained unfinished because of Trajan's death in 170 AD and because his successor Hadrian relinquished the province of Armenia. The researchers used a multidisciplinary combination of methods from the fields of archaeology, geophysics, geochemistry and archaeoinformatics to examine the monument. As reported by Heritage Daily, the study unearthed monumental foundations of an unfinished aqueduct bridge built by the Roman army between 114 and 117 AD at the city of Artishat Artaxata. And it was during this period that the Roman Empire was at its greatest extent. Ruled by Emperor Trajan, who was known for his philanthropic rule, overseeing extensive public building programs and implementing social welfare policies, which earned him his enduring reputation as the second of the five good emperors. The area of the Hellenistic metropolis of Artaxata in the Ararat Plain was first studied geomagnetically. At this stage, experts surveyed and charted any anomalies which showed a conspicuous dotted line. Additional drillings provided evidence of further unfinished or destroyed pillars of the aqueduct, which were documented three-dimensionally. Co-author Dr. Zardar Yan from the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnology at the National Academy of Sciences of the Republic of Armenia said, we used satellite pictures and infrared images from a drone to visualise the course of the aqueduct's pillars and was able to reconstruct the planned course of the aqueduct by means of a computer-assisted path analysis between the possible sources of the water and its destination. These aqueducts are incredible feats of engineering for the time, a technology possibly regrouped through the ages, absorbed over time. And to find out more, please see the paper Failed Roman Imperialism, an Unfinished Roman Aqueduct at Artaxata in Armenia, which we will of course link below.